Greetings guys, today I'm going to be trying out some escargot. If you don't know what escargot is, they are edible land snails, which sound very appetizing. They're typically eaten in France or other European countries. I've been curious about these for a long minute, but I could never get my hands on them, but I finally found some. These are a frozen product, and supposedly all you have to do is cook them in the oven for about 10 minutes, and these cost me about 10 bucks. Let's open this up and examine one. Mm. Wow. So here is one escargot. It looks beautiful. Uh, and it's stuffed with not just a snail, but some kind of sauce or something that's frozen up. It smells like some kind of garlic butter, maybe infused with some parsley. And I feel like if you add enough of this to anything, it could, you know, drown out the original flavor. But I think this is how it is typically eaten. I'm not trying to like purposely mask the flavor. I think this is a very classic way to eat it. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm just going to put them on this pan right here. I have my oven set at 250 degrees Celsius, and I'm going to cook them for 10 minutes and see what happens. By the way, I found this packaging to be quite interesting because you see on the back, it's like formed in the shape of a snail shell, which... Uh, Alright, y'all. Fresh out the oven. Surprisingly, not very hot to the touch, the shells. They must have some thermodynamic properties that I am unaware of. They don't look too bad, and they don't smell bad either. They smell pretty good, I can't even lie. Here is a close-up of one of the cooked ones. I don't think you can see that too well, but you can see a little morsel in there, and it just coated with some sauce. Comes right out like that, pretty clean. One last close up here. The shape looks like some kind of weird organism here, but going in. Hmm. 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 Weird. That is strange. I got to go in for another another one real quick. <clears throat> Before I can give you any true thoughts on this specimen. I don't know, I'm, I'm reaching for something in my brain to tell me something to compare it to. I, I but I'm, I'm, I'm reaching, but I'm just grabbing straight up. I'm, I'm not grabbing anything. I, I don't know what to compare this to. It's a little bit, it's just completely new. It's a new thing to me. Hmm. All right, let me, let me try a piece on some bread. I think people be eating it like this sometimes. I like it better that way. Uh, the texture is not, I'm not a huge fan of the texture of it, but it's, it's to be honest, it's about what I expected. It's really not that rubbery, to be honest. Um, and it's, but it's not melting your mouth. It's not really melting. It's kind of like it's not like chewy though. It, like it does break down in the mouth. I would compare it to this. Might be a stretch. Sometimes when you get a steak and you get the the fat on the sides, that is. Kind of in that in-between state of being melt in your mouth 
and kind of cartilagey and it's kind of in the middle of that it's kind of soft but hard it's got a bite to it that might be a terrible explanation but hopefully hopefully you can grasp what i'm what i'm throwing out there um the flavor has a little bit of a weird weird tint to it for sure uh it's kind of a little bit earthy but to me a little bit seafoody i would say um uh, some weird mix like some mix that i haven't really I, I can't put my finger on it i've never had it before the garlic or whatever the garlic herb butter here uh does impart a lot of flavor as well but it doesn't overwhelm the flavor like it you can definitely still taste the snail in there eating it with the bread to me is a lot better but is it weird though that like I, when i eat it i think of france like it, i just feel it in my in my bones maybe i'm tripping myself out here maybe i'm just trying um, my it's a placebo effect but i really do taste some kind of like does that I don't, yeah, i'm tripping i might be tripping i think this is one of those foods that if you grow up around it maybe and you eat it occasionally or a lot and you enjoy it or maybe even if you don't love it as a as a kid you might start liking it in adulthood and appreciate it i think if you're already like an old man like me and start eating it uh just out of the blue it's it's definitely an acquired taste and you got to want to eat it to to actually force yourself to enjoy it i think it's uh it is what it is i can't say i'm a fan at least in this certain scenario if i was in france or something at a nice restaurant with some vibes drinking some wine or champagne or something i would definitely munch on a couple of these and the whole eating experience would be a lot cooler in my opinion maybe i got a bad batch i don't think so though because there's a lot of good reviews for them and overall like yeah there was nothing off about them i'll say that but um yeah i wouldn't say they're exquisite wouldn't say it. anyway that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification button comment down below share this with all everybody you know and i'll catch you in the next video peace